Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to calculate next birth date using tax in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. If you look at this screen, the name of the student serial number name and the date of birth and this upcoming birthday the may is already gone so it is next on may 27 2020 so if you go further down it's 15 december in 2019 if you go to this one 29 november 2019 as well so all other dates have been crossed so it is comes under 2020 and these two dates still not yet captured since they had to come, so it is still in 2019. This will change the date dynamically based on the year. I have written a small DAG function. Let's have a look at that. Go to the data tab. I have this student birthday table. In this, basically, I have these three columns serial number, name, and date of birth. And additionally, I have created one column here next birthday for that i return a small dax function the next birthday where this year so date i am calculating this one year today current date and i am taking the month and day from the date of birth of the students so this is a month and this is a day this is the month number and day for the next year i use the same function i just add this plus one sign to add only in the year portion rest of the rest of the things are the same you might be wondering that why i have not used the date add function right so i will show you that i'm just commenting on this one Where next year date add it is not showing up here anyway I am going to use this one number of interval one and this year logically this is also correct but this is the red highlighted here we have a look at this parameter is not the correct even though it is showing some error I am just clicking on commit here to see the what is the error message the first argument to data it must be specify a column as this is expression so we're going to use the expression inside the data add. i made a video about this one data add function if you haven't seen that please click on the link given on top of your screen so i have written remove this one instead of that i have written this the same query the same dax function only i have added plus one in the year this i will get the birth date of birth in this year and date of birth in the next year after that i use the small dax function if statement if today it is the current date is greater than this year the date of birth which i have captured for this year then it will show me the next year date of birth if it is not then show me this year date of birth we click on commit as you, as you notice this may 2019 is already gone january march october but december is not it come so it is 15 december 2019 but the rest of the dates have been shown as 2020 if you go further down you may notice that number 29 is not yet come today is number 29 so it is showing to number 29 2019 if you look at tomorrow it will show us 2020 it's a cool simple trick to calculate the next birthday or upcoming birthday for your employees for the student i hope you enjoyed this video and you got this little trick how to calculate this one the upcoming birthdays for your employees or for your students if you like this video, please click on the big thumbs up button 
if you are new to this channel if you are visiting first time to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you want to know uh, further detail in any other real time situations please post it on the comment section below i will try to make it video on the upcoming videos thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video